Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make transparent text in Adobe Photoshop. And I'm going to go ahead and just get started. The first thing that you want to do is you want to find the image that you want to use to make your transparent text. I just found this one off of a free stock photography website. It's just a high quality image that I can uh, that I can adjust and feel pretty good that it's going to maintain that it's, uh, its integrity when I do it. So the first thing that I want to do actually, and the reason that I said that, is that I, I think I actually want to enlarge this image a little bit. And I know that this, uh, this particular image has the pixels to do it, because I have actually tried it before. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to double click on this background layer. Well, actually no, I'm just going to take the background layer and I'm going to drag it into the new layer button to make a copy of it. The other way you can do that is to press Control J on the keyboard. Uh, we're not going to touch this original background layer. Everything that I do on here, I try to do as non-destructive as possible. So that's the reason that we do that, so that we always have this background layer that we can go back to if we need to. Um, we can destroy this one all we want, and we still have this original one. Okay. So uh, what I did is I clicked the visibility off on that background layer because we're hopefully never going to ever need to use it. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to click on this background copy that I made, and I'll zoom out a little bit. So I'll press Control and then the minus on the keyboard to zoom out a little bit. Now the way you can do that is select your uh, your zoom tool on the toolbar and press alt and click and drag to zoom out a little bit okay next thing that you want to do is press Control t on the keyboard to open up your free transform tool the other way to do that is to go up to edit and down to free transform okay uh, click on or go hover over one of the corners press uh, shift on the keyboard and click uh, left click uh, and go ahead and drag that out to whatever size you need it that's you know I, I don't really even need to go through this a ton because I'm just resizing the image hopefully you guys know how to do that okay uh, like I said if you're gonna resize to make something bigger make sure that you have the pixels to do it otherwise it's going to get very pixelated and I knew that this one had it okay so I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the full image uh, there's a, a little percent sign down here and I just went down here and I clicked and did uh, 125 percent just because the canvas size is a little bit small this time but the image still looks pretty good okay so the next thing that I want to do is I want to make a new layer so I'll go to my new layer button in my layers palette and that's I'll just leave that uh, name the layer one I'll go up to edit at the top down to fill and uh, I have black and white as my default color set there if those aren't there go ahead and uh, you'll have to click out of this box if you already opened it up like I did and uh, you'll have to you can click this default colors here and it'll give you black and white in your color palette so after you do that go up to edit down to fill and for the use here put uh, background color because we want to fill it with this white color here okay so I'll press ok and that will give me that white color the next thing that I want to do is set the opacity to 70 percent so we can see through that color and then after that select your text tool from your tool palette and click and drag and make a, a text area. You can type in there whatever you want. Uh, we'll go ahead and do uh, Glaze Folio DB because that's the name of the channel that you're watching. And uh, if you want to know how to set it, the text up like this, I just have it set to Arial Bold. You can set that at the top, or you can press uh, while you have your your text highlighted or selected. You go ahead and press Control T. And that'll toggle on and off this uh, this text here. Or you could click on this as well. It does the same thing. And so I've set it to Arial Bold. It's a 60 point font. If you go up to this, uh, go up to uh, these options up here, I have set it to all caps as well, just to give it a little extra punch, okay? Uh, if you want to accept these changes, you can click this here, and that will uh, that'll commit any uh, changes to your text to the document, or you can just simply click out of it, which is what I usually do. So I'll go ahead and do that this time as well. Drag that text wherever you want it on the page, and I want it about there. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is click on the text and the layer, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and group these together. So I'll go up to layer at the top, down to group layers, and I'll just put them in the same folder just to kind of keep our file a little bit cleaner. Okay. Next thing that I want to do is I, I want to double click on our text layer that's inside this group drop down. So you'll have to toggle that down and double click on your text layer. The only changes that you should make here is under the advanced blending modes in the middle, set the knockout to shallow, and uh, set the opacity down to. <coughs> set it down to zero and then click OK um, the next thing that we want to do is click on that layer one which is our white layer and we'll press control T on the keyboard to bring up our free transform tool once again if the other way to get there is to go up to edit and then down to free transform and then you'll just drag that to uh, whatever size you want 
Um, of course you can do this however you want on any different sort of thing. You can use different colors and that sort of thing. The, ba the big thing is is uh, that knockout group. And actually I'm going to go back to that because you can hardly read my text. And if you can hardly read your text like you can hardly read mine, you'll want to go back to your text layer and double click on it again. Move it off to the side a little bit. And you keep this knockout group to shallow and you want to change the fill opacity uh, just a little bit. Just drag it. The more you drag it over, the darker your text is going to be and the less you're going to be able to see through it. But the more readable it will be as well. So you want to look at the lighter areas, like maybe right here in the B. And you want to make sure that's readable, or at least somewhat readable. Okay? And I think that's pretty good right there at, uh, well, let's, let's take it. Oh, shoot. I'm doing the wrong one. Okay. The fill opacity, not the opacity up here. Otherwise, you'll have what what's happening to me. It disappears. Okay? Philippicity. And I think I'll set mine down to around 30. And then I'll be done. And uh, and that's the effect that you get. If you want to move both of those layers at the same time, or center them. Actually, let's center them first. If you want to center those, click on your text layer, hold down shift, and click on the other layer. And then these alignment tools will come up. If you, uh, if you click the align tool, you'll see that mine... Uh, offset a lot and I'll show I'll tell you why it's because with my text tool if you select that I made my text box a lot bigger so if you just kinda take your text box and make it about the same size as your uh, your text just make sure that it still shows and then click off of it um, and then try to do that if you select the text layer and then hold shift and click on the other layer and then try to do that it should center them really well okay I actually kind of like the placement of it right here, so I'm not going to move it. Um, and I think that looks pretty good. You can see through the text. If you want to see more uh, through the text, you just double click on that and change that opacity. Just uh, take it down a little bit. Okay? But that's it. So I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Um, if you liked it, please uh, click the thumbs up on YouTube. It helps me out a lot. Um, and please uh, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And uh, and thanks a lot for watching.